The history of Antalya is long and rich, with evidence of human life in the area extending as far back as the Neolithic period, if not further. Though not a lot of information is currently available about the exact nature of the historic civilizations of Antalya, it is believed that the area has been touched by people from a number of different ancient groups over time. In modern history, the important event in Antalya began occurring in the 7th century BC, when the Lydian Kingdom took over the area. They controlled the area for approximately 150 years until they were defeated by the Persians, who then controlled the area for a time. Battles raged in the area and control of Antalya passed hands many times. A period of major development for the area occurred in the 5th and 6th centuries AD, when the Byzantines controlled Antalya. A 30-minute drive east of Antalya is Aspendos, boasting the finest example of a Roman theatre in the world. Built in the 2nd century AD, it is remarkably intact. In addition to the vast number of archaeological wonders, the area also has a wealth of outdoor activities. Antalya, lying at the foot of the Taurus mountain range, is host to numerous sporting events throughout the year, including international beach volleyball, triathlons and cannoning competitions. Nature lovers will enjoy the Carao Lanolu Park, and there are Mediterranean boat cruises offered from the harbour. Antalya is located in Turkey, and there are many ways of getting from different parts of Turkey to Antalya. However, most travellers come from out of the country and reach Antalya by aeroplane. The airport serving Antalya is the Antalya International, which has direct flights connecting to a large number of cities across the world. There are daily arrivals to the Antalya airport from such locations as Munich, Paris, Kiev, Berlin and London. Airlines serving this airport include such popular options as LTU and Pegasus. Antalya's lovely main beach, Konyalti, is made for relaxing and fun in the sun while on holiday, with a wide spectrum of water sports on offer. Both up and down the coast, there are other beautiful beaches to explore. Local operators offer all sorts of sports activities, from mountain biking to bungee jumping. The area is full of possibilities for excursions, from magnificent waterfalls and mysterious caves to a plethora of archaeological sites. Antalya pulses after dark, with what is undeniably the Turkish East Coast's liveliest nightlife, centred on a wide variety of clubs and bars. Most bars double as discos, and most of the hotels offer floor shows, usually with belly dancing, that are open to non-guests. The hottest spots for all night dancing are alleys and Club 29 in Kaleji. But those who just want a quiet cool drink gravitate to the waterfront bars to catch a sea breeze or one of the city's Narjal water pipe bars. Since the area is closed to the cold northerly winds, it is characterized by the typical Mediterranean climate with hot, dry summers and moderately warm and rainy winters. Around 300 days of the year are sunny. The sea temperature never goes below 15 degrees Celsius and in summer is around 28 degrees Celsius. The temperature can climb into the 40s in July and August, but low to mid 30s is more typical. The sea breeze and the northeasterly winds blowing from inland help to make the high temperatures more bearable. The city has some interesting museums and the narrow, high-walled streets of the Old Quarter are pleasant to wander through. Shopping in Antalya can be an exhausting but exhilarating experience, with everything up for grabs from the famous local jams and jellies made from a variety of fruits and vegetables to antique jewellery, kilims, prayer rugs, leatherware, cotton clothing, traditional pottery and wood carvings. Haggling is expected and bargains can be had, the best shopping is in the Kalechi district near the city walls, along winding streets in the Old Quarter and along the avenues of Ataturk, Chumhuriyet and Isiklar. Shopping is not only entertaining in Antalya, but offers plenty of picturesque photo opportunities too. There are also several large modern shopping malls around the Old Town, one of the largest and most popular being Migros. Be wary of those who try to sell you antiques, 
as it is illegal to export them. Antalya isn't just about lazing in the sunshine, as there is plenty to do during both the day and evening. Even if history was never your thing at school, you can't ignore the ancient world when you stay here, as Antalya is close to many fascinating ancient sites where you can almost feel the past. Getting around Antalya is relatively easy for visitors once they have adjusted to the area and oriented themselves. Many visitors opt to rent a car upon arrival at the Antalya International Airport. Doing so may be a convenient method of getting around and is considered to be relatively inexpensive. Many tourists opt to use public transportation and to supplement it with occasional taxi rides and or tours in order to get the most out of their Antalya vacation. Using public transportation not only allows visitors to see all of the area, but also to mingle with locals. People come to Antalya all throughout the year because it is a place with a relatively mild climate, known for being sunny more often than it is not. What should be known by travellers is that the summer months can get very warm, and some find them almost uncomfortably hot. The average summer temperature is usually around 90 degrees Fahrenheit, but the humidity can make it feel warmer. The average temperature of Antalya's waters at that time is approximately 85 degrees, which some people find too warm, but many find to be perfect for enjoying swimming. Nearby is the small town of Side, which is one of the innumerable places where Cleopatra and Marcus Antonius had a rendezvous. At almost every street corner, you stumble over ruins. Khmer is on the Gulf of Antalya, 53 kilometers of seacoast with the skirts of the western Taurus Mountains behind. The coast has the typical Mediterranean hot, dry weather and warm sea. Until the early 1980s, this was a quiet, rural district, but today the town of Khmer and coastal villages in the district play a very important part in tourism in Turkey. One of the major attractions of Khmer is its natural beauty. Sea, mountains and pie forest combine in harmony. The shore from Beldibi to Tekiova consists of unspoiled beaches in bays of various sizes, mostly stony rather than sand. Sea transportation, good communication, and other municipal services, Khmer has a large proportion of the bed capacity of the Antalya region and is a comfortable and peaceful holiday coast with internationally accepted reputation, attracting large numbers of visitors all year round. Every Monday and Tuesday it's market day in Khmer and it's a lovely experience to roam among the residents getting to taste all the local delicacies. Mm -hmm. 
tourism dominates Khmer. In the cool evening hours, the town streets bustle with visitors and locals alike. Tables are set into the sidewalks. Shops are lively, selling everything from souvenirs to carpets. Bars and nightclubs with live entertainment come to life in the evenings. Many of the visitors come as part of low-cost, all-inclusive package deals, but tourism is still the mainstay of the local economy. There are so many visitors that most shops in Khmer are set up to sell things like leather jackets to overseas visitors and trade in the Euro as well as the Turkish Lira.